What's up, Pack? My name is Walt21, and this is a Minecraft mod install tutorial for Dr. Zark's Mo Creatures mod version 3.5 with snakes. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to back up your Minecraft files. So the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, you're going to click on the globe, and you're going to type in percent sign app data percent sign, and hit enter. Next thing that we're going to do is you're going to double click on the dot Minecraft folder. This is going to show you all your Minecraft files. What you're going to do is you're going to highlight all of the files and folders within here, right click and choose copy. Next thing we're going to do is going to right click on your desktop or your place of choosing, choose new folder and name it, whatever you want, MC backup, name and date, something like that. Just double click on it to open it up, right click in that folder and choose paste. So back up all of your important data, texture packs, your saves, your last login, your servers, information, all that stuff. Close out the backup folder. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to highlight everything within the .minecraft folder again and delete it. Bye-bye. Once that's done, you're going to launch Minecraft. You're going to enter in your username and password. We're going to log in. It'll update Minecraft, which means it'll download the full version of Minecraft again. Make sure that it's, it's Minecraft version 1.2.5. Again, all the links will be down in the description below as always. You can quit Minecraft just to make sure it's there. The new files are here. The next thing we're gonna do is you're going to visit the Mo Creatures mod forum post. Link will be down below. Because the first thing that you need to do is you need to download the Mo Creatures zip for 3.5, also you need Mod Loader, Audio Mod, the GUI API, and the Custom Mob Spawner. And download all of these. All I downloaded everything previously beforehand. So we got we got them all. The next thing that we're going to do is we are going to install everything here. All right. So now we already have the dot minecraft folder open so what you do is you double click on the bin folder you're going to right click on the minecraft file choose 7-zip i use 7-zip it's a free application links down below and choose open archive it's going to open up the dot minecraft folder next thing you're going to do is you're going to single click on the meta dash inf folder to highlight it press delete on your keyboard to remove it the next thing we're going to do is we're going to first install mod loader then audio mod then the custom mob then the GUI API, and then the mod last. So I already downloaded everything first. The mod loader, you're gonna right click, 7-zip, open archive. You're gonna see a whole bunch of class files in here. You need to hit Control A or click and drag to highlight over all the class files. Click and drag them over to the Minecraft.jar on the other class files and say yes. You do not wanna drag them off on the other folders. You'll get an error. You won't get an error in here, but you'll go into Minecraft, you'll get an error. So you want to click and drag them from the left side to the right side where the other dot class files are. Once that's done, close out of the mod loader zip, right click on the audio mod, zip, 7-zip, open archive. Same thing, highlight these three items, click and drag them over to the right hand side where the other dot class files are. Drop it off, hit yes. Close out of the audio mod, right click on the custom uh, mob spawner version 1.4.3 7 zip open archive same thing here we are going to i think this is the same way uh, to install copy the custom mob dot zip to the into the dot minecraft slash mods folder okay so this one's a little bit different we can actually close out of the custom mobs one and we are going to hold off on this one next thing we're gonna do is we're going to uh, we'll come back to that one right click on the gui api zip seven zip open archive there is a whole bunch of stuff within here control a highlights everything click and drag them over to the right hand side drop them off say yes okay we can close out of that and now we can close out of the minecraft.jar 
Now the custom mob spawner, we have to go back to the dot Minecraft folder. So you click on on top. There is no mods folder here. So we're actually gonna right click and create one. So new folder and do mods. We're going to double click on mods and then we're going to click and drag this in to the folder. So then you're gonna have dot Minecraft, then mods, and then you're gonna click and drag these zip into that mods folder. And then lastly, we're going to install Dr. Zark's Smoke Creatures. So you're going to right click on this, 7-zip, open archive. Okay, for this one, what we have to do is we have to go back to the .minecraft folder. And you're going to click and drag these two folders, the mods and resources, and drop them off in the .minecraft folder. It's going to say it already exists. Do you want to continue? Yes. Yes. And then everything gets added. The mods is now updated. See, no creatures has been added. And also all the sounds for the resources is now in there also. So you can close out of that and you can close out of the Mo creatures zip. And now we will launch Minecraft and see if Mo creatures is now installed, which it should be because there really isn't anything else you have to do to do that. So log in, no black screen, single player, create a world. And we'll do creative and create. Once it loads in, E for inventory, we got sounds. We're going to hunt around for a little bit. Make sure that we find some mobs. There is a lake of lava. We got some sheep. Not exactly the mo mobs that we're looking for. Let's see. We got some more sheep. We got, oh, what is that? That's a bunny and a cat. The cat, cat's chasing the bunny. That's why cats and, uh, cats and bunnies definitely do not go well together. And what is that? That's another cat. And there's a snake. Wow. Okay. So, yeah. Mo creatures. That's the full installation. Let's make sure you save the custom mob spawner for later on and just drop it into the mods folder. So basically for mod loader, how mod loader works. If this has helped you out. Much appreciated if you leave a comment and a like down below. It's always much appreciated. My name is Wolf21 and as always, remember to rock on. Have fun with more creatures. It's a blast having this mod uh, for, for Minecraft. See ya.